The Melanesian Trustee Services Limited this afternoon denied misusing funds as claimed by Prime Minister James Marape in a media statement. Court Chief Executive Officer Lawrence Stephen clarified that the audited accounts of the Pacific Balance Fund are completed up to 2022 and are available on the internet for public consumption. We deny the accusations he has made in his press statement. MTSL has been attacked many times. The audited accounts of the Pacific Balance Fund are completed up to 2022 and available on the internet. Mr. Stevens says the Prime Minister should have laid a complaint with the police if he believed funds had been inappropriately used. We've had inquiries, investigations, false allegations and more. Why would the PM need now to have another inquiry when if, as he alleges, he believes we have committed crime and he could refer the matter to the police? The people attacking MTSL are following a game plan based on a strategy presented to the board of MRDC in 2017. It involved what appeared to be deliberate criminal interference in the operations of a company. When we became aware of that strategy at that time, we referred the matter to the police for investigation. MTSL director said Jerry Singerok says the accusations now put into question the integrity of the board and as a reputable trustee. We have proved beyond reasonable doubt that, that uh, the Pacific Balance Fund was well and truly managed transparently. Uh, whatever that, uh, that, that Prime Minister and his minister for international relations and Richard Morrow, whatever uh, advice that Richard Morrow is giving to Prime Minister, I can say that it's false. You can't commission an inquiry whilst there's a court case in process. And the question is who will head the inquiry? We have no idea. It could be those people who are, who are against the fund, uh, against MTSL. So there's a whole host of... Uh... Prime Minister James Marapi on Monday released a statement accusing the MTSL of misusing 222 million kina belonging to retired citizens of the country. In addition, he announced that government has set up a task force to investigate this alleged loss of retirement savings and the activities of the Pacific Balance Fund between 2010 and 2023. Freddie Mo, TV One News.